Hello, this is Todd Luck, and this is a review of Masters of the WW Universe, Roman Reigns, and Faker John Cena, or as I like to call them, spare parts. So, I am not a big wrestling fan. I know very little about wrestling, but I am a big Masters of the Universe fan. So, this is a line of figures that mixes wrestlers in with Masters of the Universe and just kind of reimagines these different wrestlers like they were on Eternia. And it's in the same style as Masters of the Universe Origins and obviously is in the same style as the original Masters of the Universe figures, just with articulation. And hopefully uh, the same system where you can take the figures apart and put them back together and mix and match different body parts to create new figures. And so that's why I got them. And we will see if they're compatible in that way. And if, you know, maybe they can augment or enhance or, you know, even create new figures for Masters of the Universe Origins. I never thought I'd be comparing John Cena with Whiplash, but here we are. So as you can see, the packaging is a tribute to the original Masters of the Universe packaging, kind of mixed in with like wrestling stuff. And so it's definitely, you know, kind of mixed up the colors, you know, definitely brighter and more funky than the regular Masters packaging. This is a vintage figure, by the way. This is uh, still mint on card. And so the tribute goes all the way around. And so as you can see, they really go all out to kind of recreate that experience with the, with the cross sale and the action features and just really gorgeous artwork at the top, which was always a great draw to Masters and Universe. It was always fantastic to keep these card back so you could have that beautiful art on the back. And so Faker John Cena, you know, shows uh, the villain here, you know, creating John Cena's evil clone. And you can see like the real John Cena, you know, trapped up there. Um, this is, this is cool. I, I like that. That's, that's some awesome art. So one thing I just realized is that John Cena is the actual literal He-Man of this line. You can actually get this particular figure. Uh, it comes with the Grayskull ring and that Grayskull ring will come with the John Cena figure that looks like He-Man and also Terror Claws Triple H both of which are as awesome as they sound. And if we take a look at the back of Roman Reigns packaging, it is equally as awesome. And a really nice touch is that the dialogue on the back here says he is the uh, undisputed guardian of the yard. And this is a direct reference to Fisto, who in his mini comic, was the guardian of the wall between the light and dark side of Eternia. And so that is just a really, really cool little tribute right there because, you know, he does have Fisto's gauntlet there. So that is really cool. Both figures also come with a mini comic. So let's go ahead and open them up and take a look. And so here they are out of the packaging. And here's everything they come with. And so the mini comics are very simple, but they're also pretty clever. So this is a really great tribute to this cover. Again, one of my favorite mini comics. This came with a lot of the different figures. Um, and the mini comic is basically you get this image of the character with a little bit of information about them. And then a single page story, which... They seem to tie in together, and then the cross sale on the back. And the same holds true for uh, the one that comes with Roman Reigns. And they even get to, you know, throw in their different catchphrases, you know, this is my yard, you know, and all that stuff, because, you know, Roman Reigns is obviously the heroic big dog. And by the way, once you get the figure and the accessories out of the way, you get a really good look at this card art, and boy, it's gorgeous. All right, and so let's look at the articulation. We're going to use Mr. Cena. Uh, and so his elbow bends, his wrist rotates and bends. Uh, arms will go out, move all around. Uh, head will rotate, look up and down. Wrist, waist twist. Legs will go up. Wow. Uh, bend at the knee. Uh, 
feet can move all the way around. And he does have that boot cut, even though he doesn't have boots. <laughs> so yeah, this is all the articulation you would find on the Masters of Universe Origins figures. So looking at these figures, these are really cool looking figures. They're well designed, the sculpt looks great, the paint looks great, and they just look great all the way around. Now I will say if they're supposed to be on Eternia, Roman Reigns here, he fits right in. So pants are not that common on Eternia, but they made a figure of Blade from the Masters of the Universe movie. He wore leather pants like that. So it works. Um, and the weird thing is, this is not that far off from what he's worn in the ring. So Roman Reigns just dresses like he's from Eternia. <laughs> um, John Cena is a little bit weirder. He is has his normal dress down here, you know, the shorts and the shoes that he would normally wear. But then he puts on, you know, kind of this harness that looks like it's from Eternia. It, it's a little weirder, but it's just such a cool looking figure with the see-through skin. And for what it is, it's very well designed. They're both uh, wearing symbols that are associated with them normally. This isn't something made up for the line. This is uh, John Cena's chain gang symbol right here. And this is Roman Reigns' normal symbol. And I got to tell you, as a graphic designer, this is really nice. This is one of the best logos I've ever seen. I mean, just the way it's able to take these two R's and just make them into something that looks really, really cool. I mean, it could be so many different things. It could be a bat, it could be a skull, it could be a shield. It's kind of a badass Rorschach test. No matter what you see, it's going to be badass. But I love, I love his symbol there. So taking a look at accessories real quick. This fist is just going to plug right into his regular fist. And so now, and this, and again, this is really clever to, to combine him with Fisto. So he's the guardian of the yard, which combines, you know, his catchphrase about, you know, this is my yard with uh, Fisto's mini comic. So a couple notes on his accessories. Um, I can get the shield to clip on very easily, but it's hard to get him to hold it while it's clipped on but you can clip it on and it'll stay just fine. This is a variant of He-Man shield. Um, and as far as his Fisto fist, it needs to go in there a certain way. You really need to keep playing with it until you kind of hear it click into place and then it'll stay, but otherwise it'll slip off. But if you get it in there, like I said, you'll probably hear a little bit of a click and it's pretty easy to take off, but you know, once you get it on there, it will stay. <laughs> Mr. Cena has a lot of different accessories. So he has this flexible armband that you can put on his arm. He has this little chain you can put around his neck. And he's got his brass knuckles. And he also comes with a mace that looks like Spycor's mace from the original Masters in the Universe toy line, which is kind of random, but still looks cool. And so one of the signatures of the original Masters of the Universe line and Masters of the Universe Origins is the ability to take off and exchange the armors with other figures. And so you can do that. But you'll notice that I can't get it off just by sliding it off. So what you're going to need to do is test my theory that you can indeed take off the upper body from the lower body so those interchangeable parts are indeed there and we'll be taking a look at that in just a minute and quick note underneath the armor is a sticker with some robotics showing that is a tribute to the original faker figure which had the same thing it was one of the things faker was known for so taking a look at roman reigns's armor fisto's armor was removable in the original line and so my theory is that probably Mr. Reigns is too, but we're going to have to, well, <laughs> I, took, I took off his upper body, but my theory is that we need to take off the head. So I've removed his head and uh, no, I thought that this, these might be tabs, 
of some sort, but no, this, this is one solid mold. Um, if there's a way to remove this armor, I'm not seeing it. Nah, this is just one solid mold, guys. So Roman Reigns' armor, while it is incredibly awesome, is going to stick with Roman Reigns. So Mr. Reigns' arms will also come off. The hands will also come off. So the legs don't come off, but the boots do. So here are all of Roman Reigns' parts. Note that some of them are going to take a little bit of effort to pull apart, but they will come apart and it won't hurt the figure. And here are all of Faker John Cena's parts and accessories. And even though he's see-through, he comes apart just like the rest of the figures and works just fine. So comparing them to the original figures they were based on, this is Fisto over here. And as you can see, I think uh, the gauntlet that they've given Roman Reigns is a really nice upgrade to Fisto's fist. I think it looks really great, and I think, you know, th this works very well. Um, Roman Reigns is a bit taller than the vintage figure, but that's because they aren't sculpted in that squat position. They can stand straight up, so they're going to be a little taller, but they are the exact same scale as the old figures. And here is Faker John Cena with the original Faker. And as you can see, you know, they've really switched up the accessories on these figures. And, uh, and obviously, the see-through gimmick is very different than the original Faker. But I think it looks really, really cool. And I certainly wouldn't mind a version of Faker that had see-through skin. And they fit in really well with your Masters of the Universe Origins figures. And as you can see, the armors and weapons are interchangeable between the Origins line and these wrestling figures. There are limits to that compatibility. The brass knuckles will only fit on a gripping hand and not an open one. So the gauntlet makes a really cool looking accessory for your Masters of the Universe Origins figures. Now, it's not going to fit on a hand that is either open or a gripping hand, but what you want to do is you want to take the hand off and then put it on that figure's arm and it'll fit just fine and looks fantastic. And the gauntlet makes a really cool, unique weapon for your villains too. The pants definitely create some interesting possibilities. So there's all kinds of cool possibilities when you mix and match. You could create a new palace guard or a big dog at arms. And we'll have some more neutral style harnesses. They'll come along later in the line. But as long as you can cover up his chest piece with a harness and exchange his bottom half so you can get rid of John she Cena's shoes and shorts, he's a pretty passable master's figure. Or you can just leave the control panel exposed and it'll just be obvious he's a faker robot. So before we go testing compatibility with the old line, this is Faker John Cena with the original Faker's harness and sword, and it works just fine. So Faker cannot wear John Cena's harness because he cannot remove his torso. However, he does get the brass knuckles that will work on his gripping hand. And if you're looking for a replacement club for your vintage spike whore, yes, John Cena's club will work perfectly with the old spike whore figure. John Cena's chain and armband are compatible with the vintage figures, and Roman Reigns' shield is also compatible, and it makes a nice matching shield for Fisto's gauntlet, so I really like it. And just like the Masters of the Universe Origins figures, they are compatible with the old vehicles. For vintage vehicles that require the figures to sit down, you're going to need to remove the boots from the figure. But once you do that, you should be able to get them to sit down, as you can see on my Broken Wind Raider here. And they're also compatible with the new Masters of the Universe Origins Vehicles, here is Roman Reigns riding Battle Cat. So whether you're a wrestling fan or a Masters of the Universe fan, or, or better yet, both, these are going to be wonderful figures. Uh, whether you're looking to play with them or display them or 
mix and match with your Masters and Universe Origins. I think it's all good. I wish Ro Roman Reigns' armor was removable, but there's just so much in both of these figures. It's hard to complain when you don't get one thing. You know, it just makes up for it with all the accessories and the interchangeable parts and the mini comic and the packaging. It's just, it's just all really awesome. So definitely glad I picked these up. Might look out for some others that I think look cool uh, and compatible with the origin stuff. So anyway, like and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, beware of Faker John Cena. See ya.